Amen. And that's Cosmic Economics, and you've got to be with us on the ship for Cosmic Economics. Okay, let's get ready and go into our lesson for today. And our lesson today, we are at www.cosmiceconomicsblog.com. And we're going to look at exercise 21, and this was posted on July the 21st. Um, Prophet Kelly, would you begin reading? Here is another exercise we do during the Cosmic Economics Seminar. Using a separate piece of paper, complete the exercise, and then post your comments about the exercise. Good. And so you'll, you, you'll copy down your information, what you're getting out of this, and then you're going to post your comments here where it says, and here right now it says um, the number of comments filed, and then therefore you will post your comments there. Change your worries. Um, Reverend Run, begin reading. Worry is a form of meditation. But if God has given you the mind to be your own creator, worry should not be a part of your thought process. Now let's think about that. If God has given you the mind to be your own creator, then worry should not be a part of your thought process. What does that say to you, Prophet Thompson? Um, Master Prophet, worry should not be a part of your thought process if God has given you the mind of a creator. That means you have the goods you got the, the, the basic fundamentals to do whatever is necessary to be done. Worrying is not going to produce anything. Only taking action will give you the result. All right. Prophet Deborah, what would you say about that? Yes, Master Prophet. If God has given us the mind to be our own creator, then worry shouldn't be because, number one, you're the one that have the good. God has given you everything that you can ever need or desire. So want should not even be in our vocabulary. All we need to begin to do is to create whatever we desire, whatever we are believing God for. Just speak it forth even as God did it. Amen. Prophet Kelly. Uh, it means that we have the ability to go within our imaginations and just create what it is that we desire. Just like we don't think about um, breathing, we just do it. It's natural. It's natural for us to be creators. Amen. Good. It's natural for us to be creators. And you know what? You may not want to own this, but you created the worry. I'll leave it alone. Okay, Reverend Run, read on. Worry is a fallen thought. It is meditation in the wrong direction. How do you change? Worry the word. Dig into the word and learn God and learn what God wants from you. You and God are the same. You cannot be a son and have a different nature from your father. You share nature with God. You are made of the same stuff, the same divine nature. Getting rid of worry takes you closer to living in pure spirit without thought of what might happen and only thought about what you have determined will be. That's where your mind should exist. Worry is an assertion of lack of confidence. I am sure that what you have said is true or that what I have done will be enough. It's a lack of faith in God's system. Good. A lack of faith in God's system. When we say worry is a lack of faith in God's system, Reverend Run, what did that say to you? I mean, you just read I, that. I, I love that because it, you know, things have been trying to make me worry lately. And I realize every time I get to the place of worrying, I just go and do what I'm supposed to do. Um, I always believe that if you don't know what to do, do what you know. And what I know is the word. What I know is giving. So therefore, there's no reason for me to have a lack of faith in God's system. I've seen it work before. That's like me trying to make Kool-Aid and worrying if I put sugar and the Kool-Aid and water together, it won't come out to be Kool-Aid. That's stupidity. If it works before and God gave me um, blessings through the word of God, through the word of the Lord here, through giving, through following directions, then prayer is actually scientific and there's no reason to worry at all. It works every time. You, have, you know about the patience, you know about the giving, you know about the scriptures, you know God's promises, forget the worry, get into the system, and watch it work. Good. Prophet Deborah, what would you comment about that? Yes, Master Prophet. Um, when we began to um, study what the Word of God has said, the Scripture says, whose, re whose report will you believe? And it began to point the light back to ourselves, began to realize, whose report are we going to believe? Are we going to believe what God's Word has already said, or are we going to believe the illusion? 
of what we have already created in our own wonderful imagination. And we have to always go back to the word of God where God said it. Well, this is what God has made me, and this is what I'm going to do because God has already said it, has already destined for me to walk into, and you just do it. Because, see, there's many roads, there's many paths, there's many journeys that you can walk into, but which one are you going to choose? Good, good. Um, Prophetess Kelly, what would, you comment, what would be your comment on this? Yes, I'm looking at the statement that worry is a lack of faith in God's system. See, when you realize, when up in that first paragraph, it says you are made of the same stuff, the same divine nature as God is. When you realize that you and God share the same stuff, then you realize that if I get into a situation, then it's up to me, it's incumbent upon me to be God and go ahead and create again another thing. But don't get into the... Into the uh, pattern of worrying because then you're saying well maybe God and I aren't made of the same stuff maybe I am another or other than God good that's a great point you know in Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3 we got a great scripture here that also moves with this and um, I'm just gonna read it out of the um, Bible here in the King James Version and um, it's